Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because y'all don't know this. Well, you might by now. I just filmed a whole bunch of videos, so it's kind of redundant me saying that over and over again. But anyways, right now it is currently November 26th. It's a Tuesday. But I'm filming a bunch of videos today so that I have content over the holiday weekend. And I'm trying to squeeze out as much videos as I can from November to make my December YouTube check bigger. <laughs> And I'm going to do the same thing in December, so there will be vlogs. Because if all this YouTube stuff does come crumbling down, um, the January check, you get, when you have YouTube monetization, you, you earn in one month and then you get it the next month if you reach the threshold of $100. So, <laughs> the rest of November and all of December, I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos to try to squeeze out as much AdSense money as I can before it changes. Um, because if it changes for the worst, I won't be being monetized anymore. And if it doesn't, then things will be normal. But anyways, all that to say, hi, and welcome back. <laughs> I just filmed a bunch of videos, so. But I got some mail that I wanted to share with you guys. And I like doing mail hauls, like I always say, so that, one, I like sharing the stuff I get, and two, I like showing the people who sent it that I got it. Let me get it organized here. Okay, I think this is all in the right places. Alright, so I got some Christmas cards. So first, I will show you this one that's on top. Let's see here. Where is this from? This is from Lee in MA, which I think is Massachusetts. I can't ever say that. But she sent me Christmas cards. She responded to the um, Get Your Yarn Wish Granted thing that was on Instagram. I posted that I just wanted a holiday card and some stitch markers. Because you can never have too many stitch markers. But so she sent me a Christmas card. And it's got like a lantern on it. And it says believe, which every time I see the word believe, I think about the Polar Express. But it's really pretty. It's so windy outside. I don't know if y'all can hear it. But it's just a Christmas card. And she sent me two um, stitch markers. Now, they did get a little broken in the mail. <laughs> I forgot what that word was. But these are knit stitch markers. But it's super easy for me to throw a um, lever back on there to make them crochet stitch markers. They're really pretty. They remind me of cameos. I'm trying to get them to where they're not spinning around. Okay. I'm going to have to show you one at a time. They look like cameos. They're like flowers. They're still really pretty. They did get broken just a little. I got ink pen on my hand. <laughs> Ignore that. But um, they're beautiful. I just I hate that they got broke, but that's just how it is. Yeah. And they came in this cool little um, organza bag that's like a weird shaped one. <laughs> well, that was so funny. I've never seen one that was that shape before. I thought that was neat. But thank you. I don't think she watches my videos because she, uh, she might. But she responded from the, um, the Instagram post. So she might just be, uh, a person out in the world. Massachusetts. Yeah, I said that. But her name is Lee. And so I will edit, uh, edit. <laughs> I will, uh, what am I trying to say? I will put them clippy things on there so that I can use them on my projects. That's what I'm trying to say. But I, I'm brain farted. Alright, my next Christmas card that I got is from Hope from West Virginia. And she is Hopeful Crafts. She's into me singing though. He's waving. He's got his toys. She just wrote a little note in there. So thank you, Hope. <laughs> I need to hurry up and start hanging these up. I guess I'll do that after I get done filming. Maybe I'll put a clip at the end of me actually to have done that. Alright, and now this one. I love this one because it came in an envelope. That is a themed envelope. I, I love those. <laughs> like I said before, I used to collect stamps and stuff. So anytime something's different about the mail, I really love that. So this this envelope, I, I will, let me cover it. It's a theme, you know, an envelope with a picture on it. And then Scooby-Doo stamp, which I always try to buy those. And my post office has never had them. Because me and Jesse, we always want the Scooby-Doo ones and they never have them. <laughs> but in on the back is Woodstock. But this is from Dennis in Kentucky. Hi, Dennis. You comment sometimes. I see your comments. So pretty. And it's peanuts, of course. I don't know if you can tell, but the snow is glitter. That's so cute. But yeah, he wrote a really sweet um, note on there, too. I like the way you're... I wish I could... My cursive never looks that pretty. My cursive looks... Alright, that's all the Christmas cards I got, except this package had a Christmas card in it. Let me put that in my pile I've already showed you guys. Alright, this package is from the UK. I knew this was coming, but I didn't know when because when we get foreign packages, at least here in the United States, we can't, we don't have tracking on the foreign ones, only the local ones. So when they, when I get, uh, 
packages from Canada or UK or wherever. I never know until they like just pop up in my in my box. But this one is from uh, the UK. I don't want to say this town and all that because I don't know how small or big it is. I don't want to like signal someone out. <laughs> but it's from Natalie. And it's kind of really. Let me look at the stamp real fast. It's well. It's just. I always. I just love the mail stuff. <laughs> I've already said it like a hundred times. I'm such a nerd. But she sent a card. I keep all separate. This is a really cool card. It's really square. <laughs> it's got cookies on it and they're like glittery. I don't know if you can see the glitter. And on the inside she wrote a note also. But she also sent along a postcard of Scarborough. There's a hair on it. <laughs> That's my hair, don't worry. I don't know how you say that. But there's a castle up there. Let me make sure I'm pointing at the right thing. Okay. I just think it's so cool that people live in places where you can just walk around and there's a castle. You know, over here we don't really have a lot of very old things because our country is nowhere near as old as the other countries. <laughs> so I think it's so cool that you can just like go and look at castles and just, you know, that's just crazy to me that think that you live somewhere where you can just go and look at a castle anytime you want. But like the oldest building we have around here, castle-ish like building that's closest to me is the Biltmore Estate. Which we're going to next year. I can't wait for that. That's in North Carolina, South Carolina. One of the Carolinas. We're going there to see the Downton Abbey exhibit in March next year. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. But uh, she said that this is a picture of Scarborough. I don't know how you say that. Castle <laughs> standing on the North Bay. That is so cool. I wish I lived somewhere where I could go see castles whenever I wanted to. This place looks so familiar. Like these buildings up here. There used to be a YouTuber. He doesn't make videos anymore, but his name was, um, Jared. What was his? Hand-me-downs? Hand-me-downs? Knit or something. I can't remember now. It's been so long. But he went to a place that looks super similar to this, and it could have been that. But these buildings up here remind me of where he went to. I don't know. I have to, I don't know if he still has his videos up, so I have to go look and see if they are. But she also sent Jesse some stickers. Which I can give to him now that I've recorded this. Little uh, al or aliens. What do they call it? Monsters? I guess they could be aliens. That's so funny. He's got UK stickers. <laughs> and then she sent a little box. Which has, has those little cracker things that... <laughs> this is going to sound horrible. But like stereotypic. I don't know if you guys really do this over in the UK. But every um, like movie that I've ever seen with UK people. They always have these cracker thingies. And those little paper crowns. <laughs> and I always thought that was so cool. I was like, I don't want paper crowns. And we don't do that over here. But it's a cute little box. It's like kind of like a Dollar Tree box. You know, a gift box. And inside of it, when I opened it, it was like this. So when I saw it, I just thought it was a bobble stitch marker. And um, when I picked it up, I was like, because oh, it's got my name on it. Oh, that's so cool. I never find anything with my name on over here. I don't know. I don't think Ella's like a uncommon name. It's actually really common. A lot of little kids are named Ella now. But you never find it on the name things. So it's cool to have this. This is meant to be a stitch marker. But I'm not going to use that stitch marker. Because I don't want to break it. And it feels like it's actually breakable. I'm going to hoard it and just look at it. <laughs> I'll put it. I'll find some special place to hang it every Christmas. And uh, just look at it. <laughs> but it says Ella. I thought that was so cool. And it didn't break, which is pretty impressive because it came from a whole nother country. So that's cool. I'm assuming it was on an airplane at some point. I guess that's how they ship mail <laughs> up through the air. Not on a boat. But that's so cool that it came not broken. So thank you so much, Natalie. That's so cool. I'm so excited. I still can't get over this castle. I wish I could just go look at a castle. That is so cool. I'm so jealous. Everybody in the world has such cooler stuff than we do. <laughs> we don't have anything cool to go look at around here. I live in the middle of nowhere. Like, I'd love to go see Graceland, but it's like a four-hour drive. Tennessee is so long that it's, and we're in the middle of it, so we're so far away from everything. It takes three and a half hours to get to Gatlinburg, which is probably the best part of Tennessee, is the Pigeon Forge Gallant, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. Uh, I love Gatlinburg. We were actually going to go there this weekend, but we procrastinated getting a hotel. <laughs> and um, now all the hotels within our budget is booked. And I don't want to pay $200 a night for two nights just to go there. That's a lot of money for just two nights. But um, 
So now we're currently trying to figure out something to do this weekend with Devin off because we, we waited too long to do anything cool, to book anything cool. Because I wanted to do the Polar Express thing, but all the good seats are taken. They have the traditional seat, seats, but I don't want a traditional one. I wanted the one, the private car one with the Santa visit and all that. <laughs> but uh, I just got to remember next year to do it sooner. I've said that last year and I still forgot this year to do it sooner. But um, back to the mail because I sidetracked. I'm so bad at that. But thank you everybody for the mail. And please don't ever feel like you need to send me anything I, other than a letter. Like letters and cards are awesome. But don't ever think you need to send anything more than that. I do appreciate it. And Jesse loves everything you guys send him. And we have stickers everywhere now. Because I let him stick them everywhere. Because, <laughs> you know, I just peel them off. It's, it's fine. Let him be a kid while he's little. But um, I do appreciate everything. I'm going to keep this box forever. <laughs> I do that. Um, let's see here. I vlogged it. It was, I think, 2017. Our in-laws gave us the washer and dryer. Wherever it's at. It's over there. You can't see it. <laughs> but when they did, they gave us kind of a box like this. But it was smaller. They gave us like a, a poem that my father-in-law wrote that was like a like a hint to what we were getting. And then we had to go to the garage and there it was and I cried. And there's a video clip of that. Well, you can't see it yet because I have it on private right now because of the YouTube stuff. But once it's over, I'll put it back out. Um, I still have that little box. It's actually in the bedroom. I keep special stuff in it. So I'll probably keep this box forever because it's Christmas. But it's also from the UK. So that's really cool. And look, it was $1.99 and pound. I don't, would that be $1.99 pound? I don't know how they say that. But still, that's just cool to me. <laughs> but, um, I'll keep it forever. This weird little organza bag that I got. I never see one that's that shape. It's like a spade when you, when you cinch it, it's like a spade. But, um, anyways. <laughs> I keep everything. I have like 50,000 of these from people sending me stuff. And I used to get paparazzi jewelry. And when we, when we got those, they were in little pink organza bags. And I have a whole stack of them in my box. So when I send people stitch markers, I sometimes put them down in there. And that's why I like to reuse everything. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. This was supposed to be a mail haul. I don't think I ever said that at any point. But um, I babble. I get sidetracked. It happens. That's just me. <laughs> but I got a couple more videos I'm going to try to squeeze out today. So you will see me a lot in this outfit in around my house and talking about random stuff. And my horse... my my horse my voice might go hoarse because of all the talking but i'm going to try to get it all done so i don't have to worry too much but i will be vlogging this weekend it'll be the beginning of vlogmas um i probably won't put a video out each day what i'll do is probably start filming thursday a little bit and then friday and saturday and sunday and then probably put it all together in one video on sunday night which will be december 1st that's probably what i'll do and uh you guys will see it when you see it, I guess. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.